here we go again. Pablo Hidalgo is back to belittle the fans of Star Wars and disrespect them and troll the internet once again. Welcome back, everybody. This is Han Talks First, a Star Wars show where we talk about everything Star Wars. Normally, I don't talk about Twitter threads or drama that ensues inside of the Star Wars community, but this one really hit me a little differently today, and I wanted to be sure to talk about it with you, so let's jump into it. So if you're wondering why Lucasfilm was trending on Twitter today, it's not because there's more Star Wars news, but one of their employees is tormenting the fans. So we got here that Star Wars fans have called out Lucasfilm executive Pablo Hidalgo, who reportedly joked about and trolled a Star Wars YouTube personality over sharing his reactions on social media to The Mandalorian. So what happened? Well, apparently on Sunday, this was about 17 hours ago that I'm recording this video, Pablo Hidalgo made some comments on a reaction video that Star Wars Theory made to the season finale of The Mandalorian. Going over to his Twitter here, what, what's funny and I want to point out is 22 hours ago, right before the drama happened, he tweeted to everyone to have a great day. And I thought that was really sweet. And it's a little weird how the events turned around and it wasn't such a great evening for him. So he starts off by tweeting Pablo Hidalgo and chiming in on this thread, which is making fun of me for being emotional over Luke Skywalker. I don't mind trolls, but I can't see what he said. And I'd hate to believe he would join in as Lucasfilm official. Can someone who can see screenshot his replies? The tweet is now made unavailable. The thread that Pablo Hidalgo was commenting on is now made unavailable and since been deleted. Pablo Hidalgo chimed in on a conversation about somebody saying that Star Wars series reaction to the end of The Mandalorian was disingenuine and fake and simply to bring more views to his channel, therefore creating money. Now, I want to go ahead and start by saying this is 100% false because during the Mandalorian season finale, after I watched it, I immediately went to Star Wars Theory's channel to see his reaction because I knew he was doing a watch along. And then he reposted a few days later the, his reaction to Luke Skywalker at the end. And it was the same exact one from the watch party he did. And it was genuine and true. And it was not in any way to increase revenue for his channel. I mean, I'm sure that happened. But at the same time, this was something that fans look forward to his reactions to seeing Luke Skywalker again, because it was so amazing. I did one myself. I also got emotional and it was such a great experience to see. And it's a little, it's, sometimes it's a little weird to record yourself in those situations because you don't want to, you don't want to expose your sensitivity to everybody or your, how, how emotional you can be. At the same time, you're kind of opening yourself up to the world when you post it online. And so it's in some ways, it's a very brave thing for you to do as a YouTube content creator. So check this out. One of his responses to those tweets by Pablo Hidalgo was emotions are not for sharing. After posting this and seeing a bunch of backlash, he deleted the tweet, but he went ahead and made it his header on Twitter, which is like, how, how do you think this is acceptable? I, I just, I don't understand. And Star Wars Theory goes on to say it himself. He says, how is this acceptable from someone so high up at Lucasfilm? You're telling me you're telling people it's not okay to have emotions about your work and your the company that you work for produces and you make fun of them for crying, it's, which is not okay. I totally agree with that statement. You know, part of the reason why Star Wars is so successful, why Lucasfilm is so successful is because of the Star Wars fans' loyalty to them. We love Star Wars. It makes us emotional. It gives us that escape from reality. So when we can experience that from a fresh point of view, such as the ending of The Mandalorian, it makes us feel emotional. So why is this such a big deal? And who is Pablo Hidalgo anyways? Pablo Hidalgo has crafted a number of Star Wars projects as a creative executor and author currently working for Lucasfilm with the Lucasfilm Story Group. And he's written a number of guides and characters based books for Lucasfilm. If you don't know, he is the one who makes the Star Wars visual dictionaries. And he often writes a bunch of forewords for other books, but he basically oversees the Lucasfilm Story Group. So he works directly with some of the creators trying to make sure everything involved in the Star Wars universe is canon. If someone wants to bring in a new idea, the story group makes sure that it fits with the world and any other canonical activities that have happened in the universe. Now, at the beginning of this video, I said this is a, 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 he's back again, you know, trolling the fans. This is not the first instant we've seen from Pablo Hidalgo harassing the fan base on Twitter. If we look back all the way to October of 2019, which is the most recent occurrence, prior to the one we got a few days ago. Uh, Data, Data Eraser says here, Lucasfilm Pablo Hidalgo called Star Wars fans shitty assholes and shitheads and then locked his account. Yes, currently Pablo Hidalgo's account is locked. And it appears that he locked it because part of the conversations he was getting involved with people on Twitter was, 
just the people he didn't agree with. And that's one, that's another thing. Why would you want to engage with people you don't agree with or you think are being rude and disrespectful? Because the same thing is going to happen to you, right? That's one thing I notice about a lot of content creators, whether they are YouTubers or working for a company like Lucasfilm. A lot of the times they get, they will get a flood of positive energy and feedback and comments and stuff like that. But when one negative one comes in, they will only focus their attention on the negative one and comment on that post. And I don't think that's healthy at all. I think you should engage with the people that are positively reacting to your stuff and your creations. And when you do the opposite and you just respond to the bad, bad things, you're inviting more bad things in. And you yourself are just going to create more negative energy about the situation. So let's look at some of the things he's actually said. Remember, fandom is optional, like what you like. You don't have to share it with anyone, let alone assholes. And below, he says, it's always been shitty, but there's been an enclave of scientists uncovering new strata of shifty hith hithero unseen. I don't know. Now, another one here at the bottom here says, why don't these shitheads ever block me? Because they need to see my account to make their pennies. Pablo Hidalgo has a very tender, very big ego. And he takes a selfish approach to Star Wars in thinking that he has some ownership with the little Star Wars that he has had to help create. Back when The Last Jedi came out, he had a lot to say about fans. And again, referring to them as bad names or making fun of their hating of the movie. A lot of people did hate that movie. And a lot of people were being jerks about it online. But some people respectively gave their opinion saying they didn't like the movie. That didn't fly for Pablo Hidalgo. He considered everyone who hated The Last Jedi to be an asshole, a loser, a shithead, everything that he said in his tweets in the past. And because of the backlash he got and realizing his mistake, he went on to go lock his account. To be honest with you, I don't understand how this is acceptable at Lucasfilm and how has no one talk to him about it or said anything about it. A lot of people are calling for his cancellation to be fired at Lucasfilm. To be honest with you, I don't think that's going to happen. Pablo Hidalgo has been there for a while. He has contributed a lot and he seems to be one of the heads of the story group. So while I don't think that's going to happen, I really do hope that someone at Lucasfilm does sit down and talk to him about the mistakes he has made because they are mistakes. It's okay for him to have his opinions on Star Wars fans. He doesn't have to like them. But when you're in charge of a company like Lucasfilm who creates the content for fans and th the only reason it's built up to the status it is today is because of the fan base, you have to respect them. And I don't understand why you don't. Ryan Johnson himself, he also had issues with people on Twitter calling them names and you know people that didn't like The Last Jedi. He, he called them out for it as well and said that your criticisms are unfair and unjust, but even Ryan Johnson went back and deleted some of the tweets where he was being kind of a jerk to those people. Pablo Hidalgo did not. Ryan Johnson has moved on. Pablo Hidalgo has some weird sense of ownership over the little Star Wars that he has been involved with. And he thinks he's very important to Lucasfilm and to the Star Wars franchise as a whole. Back when you made your comments before, during The Last Jedi and back in October, they weren't directly centered to certain people so i kind of let it go i thought maybe you were being harassed or you know bombarded with a bunch of hate and i kind of understood and then you locked your account and i thought okay maybe he's going to change he'll open it back up later and have a new attitude and look on the fan base but when he came back his comments were directly towards certain individuals and that made it a lot worse i love lucasfilm i love star wars that's obvious i have a star wars channel but I always dreamed that maybe someday I would get to work for Lucasfilm, with Lucasfilm in some capacity. Now, you can't base the actions of a few on the many. But when you work for a company like Lucasfilm and you are a higher, in a higher up position, such as the head of the Lucasfilm story group, such as Pablo Hidalgo, you are a representation of that brand. And every time you go out on Twitter or walk out those Lucasfilm doors, you are still a member of that community and you, when you speak, in some ways, you speak for that company. And what he did was very disrespectful to the fans. And right now, he does not deserve to be with Lucasfilm, in my opinion. I believe he's run his course and he's had his chances. And he's not going to change. For some reason, he dislikes a lot of the people of the fan base. And I believe also because he wasn't directly involved with The Mandalorian, 
he dislikes the people that love it so much because they didn't like the Star Wars that he has created. And that's on you, Pablo. You know, maybe me making this video kind of ruins my chances at getting to talk with other people from Lucasfilm or Disney or et cetera. But you know what? This is really important to me. It's important to a lot of the Star Wars fans because we have to stick together. And when something bad happens, we have to address it. We were in a really good spot. Star Wars community was in a really good place. We were all joining back together and loving the content that's coming out. And we were getting excited about new Star Wars and it was going to be fantastic. Then this happened. And now we've been kind of set back a little bit. I believe there's still hope for the Star Wars community. I think we're going to rise up and we're going to continue to have positive energy and great Star Wars content coming in the future. And you know what? Little things like this, they're just going to, they're going to fade away like they always do. If you made it this far to the video, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Han. This is Han Talks First, a Star Wars show. New episodes every Monday and Wednesday. Please come check us out. Subscribe if you haven't and like this video if you enjoy the content and I will see you really soon. May the force be with you.